everybody in black here and today as you can see it's uh it's snowing this is like one of the first times we've had it in ontario which is very strange we usually get a lot of snow what i'm going to do today i'm going to show you how to dress for the weather especially for paintball you don't want to be bulking up when you're playing paintball you want to stay mobile right and as you as you can see i'm actually quite flexible i'm not all padded up or anything from wearing too many uh big puffy shirts or something like that can't put your arms down right that'd be that'd be quite funny so basically, what you want to do is dress in layers, okay? Uh, one thing you want to look for is base layers, they're called. You can get them, uh, what is it, Under Armour? Under Armours are great, but they're a little thin. But there's also the Condor base layer. And basically what it is, if you can see it, it's just a fleece base layer. Uh, just a fleece sweater almost. And it has like zipper necks. So you can zip it up and down to whatever uh, heat you want it. And what I've actually done today is I have a regular shirt on underneath and I have one and then I have, if I can find it, yeah, there's the second one. I have two base layers on and then I have my regular tactical uh, shirt and then I have my vest and I'm perfectly warm. And that's the most important part to keep warm. You want your core to stay warm. Now your hands and everything, uh, your core will push the warm blood to your hands, but you want to keep them moving uh, to get the blood flowing. You know, play paintball, go running. Uh, get some blood moving through your body and it'll just pump the warm uh, blood to your hands. But make sure, on that topic, make sure you're wearing warm gloves. Now again, great thing about this base layer is you can wrap it around your thumb, as you can see. And I just put my glove over top. Now I'm not wearing any uh, special gloves, I'm just wearing like winter gloves. Those work the best. Uh, you're gonna lose a little bit of tactic, little bit of tactile feedback. But that's okay. You can also get base layer gloves that are really thin, and then you can put your tactical gloves, gloves over top of that. I just don't have them with me right now. Second up, when you're running to get the blood moving, as you notice, you breathe in the cold air and it hurts your lungs because your body isn't weren't used to that and it doesn't warm up before it gets into your lungs. So it actually chaps and really hurts your lungs. So what you want to do, get a face wrap. This is a multi-wrap. You can wrap it many a different way, you know? So wrap it around your face. The basic idea is when you're breathing, you want to be breathing in warmer air before it gets in your lungs. So again, get something like a balaclava, multi-wrap, or a she-mag and wrap it around your face, or just a scarf, you know, you can use whatever you want, and then put your mask over top of that so you're breathing in warm air. Because otherwise you're going to get cold really quickly and you're going to get tired really fast because your stamina is really low and your body's just not able to process that kind of oxygen. I'm no scientist, but whatever that works like, okay? So that's basically the idea. Uh, the core, again, will keep you warm if you're wearing your vest. So wear a vest, you know, it's, it has its tactical uses and then it also keeps you warm, like I said. Next up, obviously you're gonna be wearing your mask, so that's gonna keep you warm on your face. And usually you'd wanna wear something like a hat, but again, like multi-wraps or something like that, that's perfectly fine. So then, down to the bottom. I'm not sure if you can see, I'll back up a little bit. I've got regular tactical like BDU pants, right? My black ones, but then under that, I have another base layer, <gasps> okay? And that's basically like, like this. It's like the Condor base layers. It's just for your legs. It keeps them warm. You wanna keep your legs warm because otherwise your joints are gonna get tightened up. When you get older, you know what? You're gonna know what I'm talking about. And it's gonna slow you down. So you wanna stay mobile, you wanna stay quick, you wanna stay warm. Your joints wanna stay warm. Your legs don't typically get as cold as ever every part of your body otherwise, but you want to keep them warm because they will get cold eventually. So it's very important, wear regular pants, then wear a base layer, then you can put on underwear if that's your thing. And then underneath, what do I have? My boots, my regular Condor boots, if you can see them. I can't do the splits or anything. I have two pairs of socks two thick pairs, or you can get one nice thick pair of wool socks. Those will keep you nice and toasty warm. And then basically I just have my boots and I have the base layer tucked into my boots, as you can see, which is very important because if you get, if you step in a big thing of snow, it won't go into your shoe. If you have it like a pant wrapped around it and then the base layer inside of that. So you're just keeping everything nice and toasty warm, right? Quick, close together. So you're still able to stay warm no matter what. Now, of course, like if you get boots, you're going to want to check if they're waterproof or water resistant at least because snow obviously melts eventually and it turns into water. That's the scientific fact, right? And then you're going to get cold and it might ice over and then your toes are going to get really cold, right? 
So basic idea, base layers, right? And just build up on them. If you have one base layer and you're cold, put another base, base layer on, okay? It's gonna keep you nice and thin still. As you can see, I'm still very mobile. I have the same mo mobility as I do in the summer. Aside from the fact is I'm, I'm wearing three layers, no, four layers. I have a t-shirt on, then two base layers, and then this shirt, and then my vest. So I have quite a bit more layers on, but you know what? I'm still perfectly flexible. And I've seen people run around with like winter jackets on and you got no mobility anymore. And you lose your, your control of everything. Like I still have my pouches, I still have my mags, I have my tactical pockets, I got everything. So again, that's how you stay warm. Make sure you do, and again, make sure you drink. Drink warm water, very important. It, it tastes kind of weird, but warm water is the easiest to digest through your system. Your body's able to process it quicker and it'll warm you up faster, obviously, because it's warm, right? Warm water is the best, so keep that with you and you'll do great in the cold as we're getting it. And you know what, it's only January, so we got at least two more months of this, at least. So stay warm, guys, especially my friends from Canada uh, in this big winter mess we're having. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Remember to subscribe, like. Uh, love you guys. Having a lot of fun doing these videos. Thanks, thanks again. Stay safe in the winter and stay warm.